also not many opposition parties in Singapore, like PSP and other even opposition parties in the like HQ. So I, I'm not sure, but I think Workers' Party do have the headquarters. Yeah. So SDP is all yeah. they yeah. So only the larger ones and the more established ones. And yeah. Uh, so in that vein, how do you see the state of the opposition? Because not too long ago you talked about having a loose association. I, I, I think it signifies that we are very serious players. We are not just coming here just to fight one general election. So I'm, as I said earlier, I'm preparing a team and that team will take over the running of the country, I hope, one day. So, uh, so it's important that I get some place where they can call it home for them. And they can always come here at all times of the night or day. There's a place to go to. I think a home is very important. If you don't have a place, where are you going to conduct all your meetings? My poor house has been subjected to a lot of abuse by all these guys here. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think they love my place. It's too comfortable also. I think better let them come and do this. This is more political. But my place is always open to them. So I think, yeah, I mean, uh, actually the importance of an interview, you've got to have a place to actually start where you want to do all your events. The other political parties, I'm not sure, but I know, I think, Workers' Party do have a uh, place. PKMS also got their own headquarters. And who else? MSP. And MSP. MSP. Yeah. They have their own it's a question of maybe, maybe we are a little bit more prominent. The place here is right in the heart of that. And we are new, everybody looking at us. So everybody is looking at you and uh, the top of opposition alliance is still floating around. Do you see yeah. that? Of course, I'm, my, I'm always open to all this. And now I got all my all my young people to go there and do all the talking and all the negotiation or whatever, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now my, my team also changed slightly because uh, we have grown, so I cannot just. Uh, the, the, the whole political climate is also changing, so I need good, strong people to come on board to help me to, to, to set up a very strong team for the community. And uh, if the other players in the political arena can cooperate with us, and we also can cooperate with us, I think there's no reason why we shouldn't be cooperating. About the strength of your uh, of PSB currently, do you think that your um, your new headquarters can fit all your members inside? Uh, yes, I, I am a bit tough. Uh, <laughs> could, could you share roughly how many members? No, no, I won't tell you. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, yeah. we are able to conduct meetings here because we our size may be the number three big, yes. but I guess sometimes uh, when you come to all these all these uh, events, not all I go, but you see us when we go out on our walkabout. Because walkabout, the space is there. So if you go to the last walkabout, I think we got about 200 or 300 chairs. Here, I don't know whether they can feel 200 or not. But you watch when we do our walkabouts and do our events because I believe that I have to uh, let Singaporeans recognize my symbol, the palm, and I want Singaporeans to look at our color of our uniform so that uh, in the event of an election, we are recognized because I worry that some of them, my, some of them may be still thinking the party belongs to Tan Ching Bok. <laughs> so, but it's not my, it's not my interest or even Singapore's interest to only concentrate on me. I think a political party because it's an institution, you know, and you need to have all the good people to come and form the big institution. I can be the guy. I can be the mentor, which is exactly what I'm doing. I never, haven't lost my focus. <laughs> so, also, I'd like to add, we're organized into different teams. So, so we have events management teams, for example. We have uh, policy teams, for example. So with these different teams, um, there will be enough space to host them. So maybe not all our members at one go, but, but, but our individual teams will have a place that they can come to and feel at home to discuss things. So we got the other itinerary also, which is quite not as big as this. But there also we can have functions where, in fact, uh, currently many of our training programs are all there. We have to do a lot of training because I have a very young team 
but uh, I, I, I have a strong, strong, I'm very confident that the people who are actually training them are also, they, 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 know, they know what they are doing, so it's very, very good for us. And that is one place, then we've got another place where we store all our ele election material. Actually, run, be, uh, forming a political party is not easy. <laughs> but I'm in it, my own choice. It's mine. I decide on it, so it's my choice. So I'm not complaining that it's tough. I would, I would, say, it's, I would say I'm not complaining it's tough, it's tough, but I'm not complaining because uh, of the kind of work that I have to do. No. You've got to enjoy, you've got to have a passion. And I am quite proud that all my all the new chaps I brought in are very passionate. You should go to our annual dinner, you see. I thought I was going to a Rara show or something. Like <laughs> my goodness, they are all having all the guitar playing and all that. But that's good. Well, Singapore has changed, we have progressed. Political parties must be more compassionate, must be more human, you know, so that our people, all the young chaps, will understand that to be part of the system. I find that so many of the young chaps are still not not ready to come forward. I mean, hope they will come forward. Political, I think let's not, let's make politics here. Not like if you're not with me, you're against me, you know, that sort of thing. I think I'd like to move away from that, that, that angle. Uh, if you're not with me, well, we may have difference in opinion, but never mind. Let us sort it out because out of all these debates, the best answer will be best outcome. So I hope to encourage younger Singaporeans to not to be so fearful. I think that's all. It's a short answer. Uh, just one last question because this festive season has also been yeah. played by some unfortunate events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you see that becoming election topic? I think this is this Wuhan virus, this coronavirus. We have to be very careful. I think this. Uh, I think it will have an impact on the election because if if the elect, if the if the illness if the if the illness actually stretch on, I think it's also not wise to. To, to hold the election so fast because in rallies everybody be crowding together all these campaigns you know, so have to be careful long term and that's, that's my take up because this this sort of uh, spread can be can be very long you know because even even the old SARS time also we took to quite a while before we can really fully understand the spread of the illness and the containment of, of the spread of, of, the, of, of the of the disease, my my if you ask my fear is that I think uh, I think this the kind of hospitals we are building I also a bit not too not too happy about it in the past because we are too connected to too many institutions too many shopping centers and all this. It's very dangerous because I see all some of the patients having their drip, drips all walking around in the coffee shop. And yeah. my goodness, I worry if, uh, if there is a spread, this will spread to him. Or the outside will spread to him, they bring to the hospital, they're in trouble. So we, we have to think of the design also next time. Because I remember after the SARS, we were all thinking how you're going to design, design the hospital. And I kind of hospital it in my favor actually. It's a standalone because if there's a spread, I can contain it very fast. Now I'm talking about the medical point. Actually, we are not talking about this disease. It's just, I just give you my take on this. That means the hospital to commercialize. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, but uh, by the, at, the, at this point, let's not have any blame game. A, why you do this? Why you do this? Now our focus is let's contain it. All work together as a team. We don't care which political party you belong to. This is the problem is there. Let us all work together. Let us play our part. Let us make sure that nobody or everybody understand what is this 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 disease is about. You know? And uh, don't say, oh why you never do this, why you never do that. It's easier to, to blame people, but I think let us work as a team now yeah. and, and quickly contain this 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 uh, this illness.
Tan, sorry, uh, just to clarify, just now you said that you hope that young people can step forward, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about that, is it in terms of vote, votes or in terms of joining the party? Join, not, uh, joining politi understanding the political system. You know, because many of them are so reluctant even to talk about it. It's important, I think it's important. Just understanding at the field, because politics is everyday event. So if a young boy or a young lady is not interested in it, until the time when they start working, when they look at the speed, they get not enough to pay this, pay that, then they start. It's, it's a bit late. Huh? But I think it's better to be to acquire yourself with all this daily information about the, about the workplace. And, uh, I think, as I said, it's important young chap to be more informed. I think for them, they have to they have to look at us. If we all do a bad job, I think it's, they, they will all run away. Singapore is actually basically a good place, let's be honest. You see, what we want to do, we want to tweak it and make it better for everybody. So that so that so that we all can be very proud Singaporeans when we go out, we are so happy, oh we are Singaporeans. We don't want people to say, oh you all are kyasu people. I think all these words kyasu, kyasi, let's forget about it, man. Don't use those words. Man. No, we should be on our own. We should, we should be proud of Singapore. Proud of being a Singaporean when you go out. And when you go out, people 